What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, some of you guys know I live up in Raleigh, North Carolina, and it is really cold here. I'm actually currently working right now, but I'm driving a flatbed truck. Uh, I had to go fill up the diesel tank on the back of it. Uh, so if you hear like roaring, it's because I'm driving a really loud truck. Uh, so hopefully you guys can hear me. Uh, I won't have time later on to make this video. Um, but we, we're here, guys. Uh, tomorrow, the Cowboys go and take on the Rams. Um, I picked them in my divisional round playoff uh, picks. I picked the Cowboys to beat the Rams. Um, just because I'm confident in my boys. And I want you guys to know, I did not pick them because uh, I'm a Cowboys fan. I picked them solely because I feel like that's what's going to happen. I feel like we're going to go to Los Angeles. It's going to be like another home game for us because there's so many Cowboys fans down there. Um, and uh, I feel like we just we just have the talent and the drive and the momentum to just upset the Rams in Los Angeles and make it to the NFC Championship for the first time since 1995. But let's get right into it, guys. Uh talk about the reason why uh, oh by the way this is not a scarf this is actually a handkerchief uh, I was digging through my closet this morning and realized that I do not own a scarf so there's that um, but anyway guys let's get right into it guys uh, these are the ways that I feel like the Cowboys can upset the Rams uh, the first one is stop Todd Gurley now, Todd Gurley, I know, is a little bit hurt right now, so, I mean, hopefully he makes a speed of recovery. I don't, I don't know what it is that he's hurt with, because I'm not a Rams fan, so I don't really know. I think it's his knees. Um, but yeah, that's number one, is stop Todd Gurley. You stop Todd Gurley, you stop their run game. They have a very, very talented uh, run game, a very powerful run game. Um, so, yeah. So we stopped Todd Gurley, we stopped the run game, and we have to, we're forcing them to throw. That's what we did against the Seahawks. That's what we have to do again tomorrow. Um, number two is get pressure on Jared Goff. Now, I was listening to ESPN First Take, and uh, they made a good point that when Goff has pressure in his face, he is number 28 overall. As far as quarterbacks who can still make key plays, still make key throws with pressure in their face. Now, I know what you're saying. Well, what about the Chiefs game? Yeah, they didn't get very much pressure on him. They couldn't figure out a way to get to Goff. So, and I'm not taking anything away from Goff. He's very talented. He's actually one of my favorite young quarterbacks right now. Uh, but... I mean, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, and if we get pressure on him, we have a shot. So we get pressure on. We need to get pressure on Goff. And the next one is convert on third down and score in the red zone. Score in the red zone, guys. We need to score in the red zone. Score in the red zone. We cannot take field goals. We cannot accept field goals. This game. Because of, the, because of who we're playing. Against the Seahawks, I mean, with Russell Wilson, you still didn't, we still didn't, you know, want field goals. Obviously, you don't want to just get just field goals in any game. You want to score touchdowns. Um, but we need to get pressure. I mean, sorry, excuse me. We need to score in the red zone. We need to convert on third down, which is pretty much the same thing. Um, yeah, we need to get touchdowns and keep getting touchdowns and keep them from getting touchdowns guys now i know what you're saying well that's obvious that's how you win games duh but there's a reason why it's obvious um so yeah convert on third down do not accept field goals score touchdowns they all kind of go together the next one is we need to get zeke moving now they have they do have some talented defensive linemen they have some talented defensive linemen. They have Darnold and Anadamika Sue. 
But against the run, they're not that great. They got those guys there basically to get pressure on quarterbacks. Okay. Um, so we need to get Zeke moving. We need to get him running. And when Zeke runs for like 20 or 30 times for over 100 yards, we're 7-0. and So we need to get Zeke moving. That's just this year, by the way. We need to get Zeke moving. Get him going. Get him running. Get just let him run like a bat out of hell. Okay. Um, and also this kind of goes together with the last one I just said. But Dak needs to throw the ball deep. Okay. He needs to throw the ball deep. Um, a lot of people are saying that he doesn't have the ability to, which as Cowboy fans we know is bullcrap because we've seen our guy throw the ball deep. All last season, when Zeke was out, he had to throw the ball. Yes, Rod Smith is very talented, but he if but when Zeke was out, Dak had no choice but to throw the ball. So, if Dak can throw it deep to Amari Cooper or Michael Gallup, and even again, and even with Blake Jarwin, and even to Blake Jarwin, guys, we have a shot. Now, I feel like Blake Jarwin's going to be our X factor in this game because I don't because teams know that we don't have a solid tight end or think we don't have a solid tight end. But if we can get Blake Jarwin out on the field and get him involved in some plays and stuff, we're going to be fine. And our special teams needs to show up. If we can score off of kick and punt, like when we get the ball, then there's nothing they can do against us. So um, I'm confident in our defense. I'm confident they're going to show up. Um... I hope we can keep Chris Richard after this year, by the way. But I'm confident in our defense. I'm confident uh, with our offensive line. I don't think they're going to get very many pressures on Dak. I could be wrong, and I'm hope and I hope I'm wrong. But I don't think they are. I think uh, Aaron Darnold's gonna, you know, gonna get a couple hits on Dak, maybe even a sack. But other than that, uh, Dak is very good about keeping his composure under pressure and uh, not freaking out. I wish he would throw the freaking ball away sometimes because throwing the ball away is better than taking a sack, honestly, in my opinion. Um, Just throw it out of bounds, man. But yeah, so those are my key things that I feel like if we do and we execute very well with with those key things, uh, I feel like we have a real shot in this game, and I feel like we're going to go to the next round. So let me know what you guys think. What are what are some other things that I may have left out that you think is going to be a key factor uh, in us beating the Rams? And uh, Yep, yeah, hope you all have a wonderful day. God bless you all. I will make a video after the game tomorrow. Um, other than that, God bless you all. Go Cowboys. Peace.